Hey guys, hopefully you can see me over here. Welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to be talking all about what are monitor speakers. All right, so the question comes up a lot, what are monitor speakers and what are they used for? Um, there's a couple of different kinds of monitor speakers that I want to make sure and go over. Um, there are kind of the more traditional studio monitors or reference type monitors. Got a, a cost effective um, option uh, for those here that's kind of like a bookshelf type speaker. Uh, but, you know, studio monitors or reference monitors can also range to, uh, you know, um, super high end Genelec or other uh, manufacturer studio monitors like what's used in, you know, Los Angeles or uh, New York City uh, fancy, you know, Nashville um, recording studios. So um, studio monitors come in a lot of different shapes and sizes and a lot of different budgets. Um, now that kind of differs from uh, stage monitors or uh, floor monitors or foldback monitors, something like I have here from uh, Carbon. Um, these are more used in a live environment, um, whereas, you know, your studio monitor is going to be used more in kind of enclosed studio or um, really, you know, studio or editing type environment, um, that kind of thing. Uh, so quite a bit different uh, applications. But there's a lot of different things that, uh, concepts that apply to both that we're going to go over here today. So um, the goal, you know, in both kind of situations is to have really good full range frequency response. Um, in the more reference studio monitor type space, we're going to try and want as flat of a frequency response as possible. Um, so that basically uh, the audio signal that we put in is what's coming out so that, you know, we can really hear what sounds uh, correctly for when you're mixing an album or uh, mixing a movie uh, or or TV show or that kind of thing. Um, most studio monitors are also kind of designed to be listened to very closely, whereas a stage monitor, um, you know, normally can be used, you know, anywhere from, you know, two feet away to, uh, you know, very far away, you know, depending on the application of where you're actually putting it. So, um, you know, a little bit different build of how they're built in order to uh, reinforce what you need. Um, we also have uh, different speaker sizes. Uh, this is obviously a smaller woofer, like a, a six and a half inch or five inch woofer in this case, and a 15 inch woofer here. That gives different frequency, frequency response, obviously, and also there's different output levels. Uh, this bigger speaker can throw sound further, whereas a more near field type monitor is gonna be for up close. Um, also, um, these may have some built-in um, shielding on a near-field monitor. The idea being you're going to be putting it really close to uh, computers, close to, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, reel-to-reel -reel tape machines, things like that that can emit um, electrical noise. So many times these are shielded to, uh, you know, kind of prevent any of that um, external electrical noise kind of coming out of the actual speaker itself. So, um, Also, monitors can be active or passive. This actually is a passive uh, monitor, and this is an active monitor. Active versus passive, I think we went over in another video, but definitely check that out. Uh, but essentially, this is powered versus non-powered. Um, this just plugs into an electrical outlet, whereas this needs an amplifier. Um, in a studio environment or a live music environment, using a stage monitor or foldback monitor or using a, a studio monitor, you may have uh, active or passive, either one. Um, sometimes it just depends on what makes the most sense for the application. So whether we're looking at active or passive monitors, um, definitely feel free to reach out to us to talk a little bit about your application and we can help you pick out what makes the most sense. Uh, whether you need a monitor for use on stage or, or for your uh, performance venue or anything like that, or if you're working on a studio application, definitely let us know, give us a call, and we can help out in selecting the ideal model for you. Or be sure and drop us a like or a comment down below and let us know you're watching or if we can help with anything. And until next time, guys, take care.